Good day, ma'am. I am Marian Isguera, a third-year criminology student from 3CRIA2-4. And now, I will discuss the glass fracture and the importance of glass fracture in crime investigation. This is entitled as glass fracture. So, the objectives that the student should meet are present the topic in five slides and explain the importance of knowledge in glass fracture in crime investigation. So, let's start with the question, what is glass? So, basically, glass is a hard, brittle substance, typically transparent or translucent, made by fusing sand with soda, lime, and sometimes other ingredients, and cooling rapidly. The properties of glass are transparency, heat resistance, pressure and breakage resistance, and chemical resistance. So now let's proceed to the glass fracture. So basically, glass fracture appeared after a striking force. Glass first bends in the direction of applied force due to elasticity. When the elastic limit exceeds, glass begins to crack beginning with the formation of a radial crack or fracture, opposite to the penetrating force. As the stress on the glass continues, concentric fracture form on the front of surface of the glass. So what is the difference of low impact and the high impact force of fracture? Low velocity projectile produce cracks in the glass which radiate outward from the point of impact. It is called the radial cracks or radial fractures. So sinasabi dito sa may low velocity projectiles, na ang meron lang makikita dito is yung radial fracture. Hindi mo madedetermine yung hole or wala kang makikita rin na concentric fractures. While in high velocity impact fractures, this is made by the high speed projectiles striking a piece of glass that produce a cone shape or crater followed by the radial fractures or concentric fractures. Dito naman sa high velocity, makik makakakita ka dito ng hole and meron din siyang cone shape or yung crater na tinatawag. Then meron siyang radial fracture and concentric fracture unlike dun sa may low velocity. So how can you determine where the bullet came from? You will determine if the bullet came from the inside or outside through examining the hole made by projectile. As a bullet travels through glass, it pushes out a cone shaped piece of glass ahead of it. The hole is narrow in the entrance side and wider in the exit side. So, ito yung way para malaman mo kung saan nanggaling ba talaga yung bullet, kung galing ba sa loob ng bahay or galing sa labas ng bahay. Makikita mo yung pagka in-examine mo yung glass fracture, yung pinagpasukan ng, or yung entrance ng bullet is maliit yung pinakabutas niya. Tapos, sa opposite side niya is mas, ma mas malaki yung magiging butas or mas wider. Yun yung tinatawag na exit side. Another way to determine where the bullet came from is through the use of 3R rule. The edges of broken pieces of glass will show a rib of stress marks. Radial cracks give rib marks that make right angles on the reverse side from where the force was applied. Which bullet comes first? First bullet will have a complete radial fracture and the subsequent ones will have radial fractures that stop when meets the original radial fractures. What is the importance of glass fracture in crime investigation? During the commission of the crime, glass breaks and shatters into fragments or into minute particles that serve as trace evidence and may provide a significant lead for the probe to solve a case. And how to collect glass evidence? First. Photograph and located in crime scene sketch before they are touched or moved. Wear gloves before handling glass and collect all fragments of glasses. Use rubber tip tweezers or tape to collect small fragments. Identify the outside and inside each surface. Note trace evidence stuck to glass. Avoid disturbing any trace evidence and pick up fragments by the edge only. Forensic analysis of glass consists of the examination of two or more fragments to determine whether they have a common origin. Identify broken glasses fragments having a common source to the exclusion of all the sources may only be done if they can be physically matched together. The objectives that the student met are present the topic in five slides and explain the importance of knowledge in glass fracture in crime investigation.